Oh, yeah. Improper distances are bringing me down. <laughs> Worst lyrics ever. <laughs> All right, uh, my first guest is an Academy Award nominated actress who you know from such films as Goodwill Hunting and Circle of Friends. Starting next Friday, you can see her in the brand new movie Ella Enchanted. Thrilled to have her on the show. Please welcome Minnie Driver. <laughs> Great to have you on the show again. Thank you very much. I always forget you're how tall you are. Yeah, That's... I'm very tall. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, I just ruined the interview and we didn't go anywhere yet. Uh, no, thank you for being here. Nice to have you. You know, I, I heard I heard this is, you know, a fact about you, but I don't believe it. That you live in a trailer. And I find that impossible to believe. You're such a, a, a beautiful and famous actress. You're living in a trailer. Tell us about that. Well, it's not. I mean, it is a trailer park, but it's a mobile home, which just means you can't put down foundations. Right. So, so you have the... There's, like, cinder blocks propping up the front? Pretty much. And the dog chained outside and the Spam sandwiches. And, and you're not kidding. And you sit on no, the front porch kidding. and you blow into a jug at night. <laughs> <laughs> and Paul and Clem come by. Yeah, and... you laugh and make jokes, but it's all true. It's all true. Well, tell us about this. How did this... Uh, you're, you're, what do you like about living in a trailer? Because I... I like where it is. It's right it's by the It's in a sea. trailer park. Yeah, but, <laughs> but the thing is, but, but it's really, really nice, and the people are really friendly and it's great. By, and it's by the sea. It's by the sea, and I surf, and I, you can't surf the break unless you live in this particular area. That so, sounds so cool. I wish I had the kind of life where I could say, hey, you can't surf <laughs> the break unless you live in this area, you know? So you get up early and you surf and you need to, to do that, you need to live in the trailer. Yeah, you need to live in the trailer park, exactly. So okay. that's where I live and it's good. All right. And what is it, I mean, has anyone ever who, uh, you know, let's face it, uh, what happens when a limo pulls up in front of your trailer and you get in to go off to a movie premiere or something? Do the other people in the trailer park start buzzing or? Yeah, totally. I mean, people come out, you know, they maybe take their washing down as a sign of respect. They call the <laughs> To keep the Rottweilers Fantastic. in the house. Very nice. So Very nice. People wave flags. You know? Have you ever thought of not taking the limo and just attaching a, a pickup to the trailer? Often. And that would be so cool well, if yeah. you pulled up in, a, in your trailer home at a premiere and walked out the front and then forgot something and went back in and came out again. That would be so cool. You ever think about doing that? No, but now you've told me. I got the idea. Keep ideas. your eyes open. Yeah, watch for that. Uh, you were a. Um, a live uh, artist model at one point in your career? Is that well, right? I did. Well, what happened was there was this... My first love was this, this chap at school, and I was about 16 or 17, and I loved him. Mm -hmm. And he loved me for a while, and then he threw me over. That bastard! I hate sorry. people like that. Yeah. He's sorry now. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, exactly. so he was, he was an artist, and um, I loved him so much, I, I really I didn't understand why it was over, and I saw a sign up at school saying that they needed a life model, they needed a nude model um, to, for the art class. Right. So I was like, well, I'll do it, and then he'll have to look at me and draw me naked, and maybe he'll love me again. I don't know. Like, Oh, my good God. <laughs> What kind of thought? I'm, this is such a strange thought process. I'll show him. I'll be near him naked. You know what? I think, like, the objective was to make... I don't know. Maybe like make, to make him, him jealous? To make him uncomfortable. And, yeah, and all his buddies were, like, drawing his girlfriend naked. There was some joy in that. I wish more girlfriends thought this way. Because <laughs> I always just got, like, to throw a boot at my head. Not, I'll show you, rip, <laughs> gleam. <laughs> huh? You know, I mean, that would be... That would be great. It doesn't happen enough like that. I know. Well, maybe now... Well, maybe I'll just put some ideas into some young... young girl's heads. Once I was mad at, at an old girlfriend, so I took off my clothes... <laughs> ...and paraded her around in front of her guy friends. It was very strange. It didn't do anything. Now, uh, I know this is silly, but I know that... Mm. I, I, we're fascinated by... Maybe you're bored by it in, in, in England, but in this country, we're, we sort of find the idea of a king and a queen fascinating. You met the queen once. Yeah. Is that true? I did meet the queen. They have, they have sort of pageantry sporting events in England, mm -hmm. which are polo games, mm -hmm. and she's a big horse lady, and I went to one of these polo games... And <laughs> that, like, doesn't, that doesn't well, sound good. Know I know. <laughs> oh, hey, <God>. horse lady! <laughs> Oh, it's not fair. I'm um, gonna be beheaded. She, gosh. 
They're Don't never going to let me back in the country. No, I'm they're not watching over here. there. They're all watching Chitty Chitty Bang Bang or something. <laughs> I bet she's like, she's a secret Conan. That would be great if she was watching right now and I'll oh, get that mini driver, I will, I will. <laughs> How do you like my British accent? Yeah, it was fantastic. You might good. want to work on that yeah. a little bit well, I think it's perfect, yeah. So you met her. I, I think it's perfect. <laughs> yeah. I do, I do. <laughs> Gonna sleep a chimney, I will, I will. <laughs> I'm being thrown off TV very soon. Don't worry about it. So what? So 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 tell me about this. You met so, the Queen. You're you're at a polo match, and the Queen's there. And how does yeah, it all happen? Yeah, it's so funny because she's she's shadowed by a sort of 75 year old woman who's like her lady in waiting, which is like a valet. Mm -hmm. She has this woman who kind of follows her, and anything that like, she takes her gloves off, and she just sort of puts them behind her and drops them, and the woman kind of catches them, and she has her tea, and she she doesn't. She does all this stuff while she's still looking at you, but there was about to be a really big thunderstorm, and she had flies all over her hat. She had a very, flies? She had a very elaborate hat with veils and flowers and the whole thing, and all I could look at were they were, these, they were as big as my fist, and they were, they were buzzing around real her Real flies, not like little plastic flies for show, but no, real insects? They were, big, they were big, thunderous blue bottles buzzing around her hat, so I was like... The whole time I was meeting her, I was kind of wide-eyed staring at her flies, waiting for one to go up her nose, like, in the air. That but is so weird. Do you think, like, a sa she was, had a sandwich under there oh, or under something? Under the hat, she had a sandwich because there wasn't anywhere else to put it. She had tea yeah, and glasses, right. like, oh, right. I put my sandwich under my crown. Yeah. <laughs> Every now and then, no one's looking, the queen's yeah. like, wow. <laughs> Flies are buzzing. That is the weirdest thing I've ever heard of. It was the creepiest, strangest thing. It was. It was that's, weird. That's so crazy. Well, I mean, I, well, Ella and Shannon. This is a this is a kids movie. Yeah. A, a movie for kids. Well, probably for for parents as well. Yeah, it's all like ages. a Princess Bride, Shrek type. You know, it's funny. It's 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 cute. It is. It's funny. It's nice. And you, who do you play in the movie? I play a fairy. I play a magic fairy. I'm always offered those roles. Yeah. <laughs> I beat you down for this one. I want that fairy yeah. role. I'm a um, nanny who's a fairy, so... Well, well Ella, Ella Enchanted uh, opens next Friday, and people can see it. And uh, Mini Driver, I just love it when you come on the show. Thanks for Thanks having Thanks so much me. for being here. Thank Great you. to have you. Mini Driver, everyone. Chris Klein, coming up. We'll take a break. We'll be right back.